Hey, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, my name is Emilio and on this channel we, we talk about all things tech. And specifically today we're going to be looking at how to move your photos library or how to relocate your photos library onto an external hard drive. We're on a Mac. Uh, my particular version that we're doing this on is Big Sur. But if you're not running Big Sur, that's fine. If you're running an early one or a later one, that's fine. This process will still work. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Before we do get into that, please, as always, subscribe, clicking on that button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, so two things that you need for this particular video. You need, of course, a Mac running at least a relatively newer version of Mac OS. Now, as I said, we are running Big Sur. And the second thing that you will need is also an external hard drive. Now, you need to get yourself a USB stick um, that is large enough to be able to store your photos library. Now, of course, your photos library is going to be a specific size. So if you have a 200 gig photos library, which is not uncommon nowadays, you're going to need an external hard drive that is at least that size, if not more. Because of course, you've got to think about uh, future growth. So if you do move it onto that hard drive, and then over the next two, three, four, five years, you go and take a lot of photos, you now need to add them onto there, that photos library is going to grow. So you may need to get yourself a hard drive that is double, triple, or even four times the size, so that you're ensured that you're not going to run out of space down the track. So let's now crack onto our Mac, we're going to log in right now and then go through those steps. So here we are on our Mac. Now, why do you wanna actually get your photos library onto an external hard drive? Well, the most common reason is because you're running out of space on your Mac. Your photos library can be big, can be real big, and it's taking up a lot of space on your Mac. And you can easily transfer it to an external hard drive and then just point your photos app on your Mac to the external hard drive, and that's it. Easy peasy. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna show you where to do this. Um, so on our Mac, you open up the Finder. Okay, that's the very first point. Uh, you can open up the Finder here on the bottom left-hand corner. This is the Finder. And then we're gonna to navigate to our pictures right here. Okay? And in here, you've got uh, the folder that you are looking at is this one right here. This is an actual uh, repository uh, of your photos library. This is where your library sits. It's called photos library .photos library. Uh, yours could be called something different, but that's essentially what you're looking for. Uh, it gives you a bit of information around when it was created, the size of your library, etc. Now I'm doing this just for a demo. So my library is actually quite small, but yours is probably gonna be a lot bigger. Okay, and of course all your photos are stored in here. So when you open up the photos app, which is this app right here, photos right here, you may have that in a different location in your dock. You may also have it within applications. And within applications, you've got the Photos app right there, okay? Now, um, when you do open up the Photos app, it automatically points to this particular file and opens it up. That's essentially where everything is kept, right? So what you need to do is you need to now copy that file to an external hard drive. So just remembering that you need to get yourself a hard drive that is big enough to be able to store your photos library. So I've got myself a USB stick. This is my USB stick that I'm gonna be using. This is a 32 gig USB stick. Of course, if your library is bigger, get yourself either a big USB stick like this or better, an actual external proper hard drive that can actually store a lot more capacity. You're gonna get that, you're gonna plug it into your Mac, all right? Now that should show up. And what you may need to do in the, in the very first case is you may need to go and format that hard drive. Now, if you need to go and format it, what you do is you open up the little um, spotlight on the very top right hand corner, type in disk utility, it opens up right in here. And in here, here is my external hard drive, formatting it into Mac OS Extended or APFS, which is a newer one. So I'd probably say APFS is the one that you should be selecting, but either of the two will work. So once it's formatted, you wanna make sure there's enough capacity on that external hard drive. And then we, we're just gonna copy this particular pictures uh, photos library. So we're gonna right click on it and say copy right here. We're now gonna open up my USB right here, right click and say paste. 
So that will now paste that library into there. You can also do a drag and drop by literally grabbing it and just dragging it into here. Now this is gonna take a bit of time. Now if your photos library is quite large, it will take a fair bit of time to actually do this. I would also recommend that your photos app is shut. Do not have your photos app open when you're doing this copy over, okay? So the copy is now completed. Um, it's now sitting in our external hard drive. And as I said, it could take a fair bit of time on yours if it's a very, you know, very, very big library. But once it's in there, by default, when you do go and open up your photos app again, it's gonna go use your existing library. So if I go ahead and open up photos right here, here is my photos library um, and you go, oh, great, it's done it. Well, no, it hasn't. It, it's still reading the photos library that is within my pictures folder. Uh, you can see this, by the way, if you go into the photos up the very top on your taskbar and select preferences, uh, you can see right there, that's the library location. Okay, that's exactly where it is pointing. Uh, so that is not good. It's still pointing to the old location. So let's go ahead and close out of our photos library. So what we now need to do is we now need to tell the photos library to point to this new photos library here, okay? So what we're gonna do is on your keyboard, you're gonna hold down the option key. So the option key is located between the control and the command key, just to the left of the spacebar key on your Mac keyboard. So hold down that option key continue to hold it, and then go and actually open up your Photos app while you are holding it. What's gonna happen, you're gonna get this window that shows up right here. Choose a Photos library from the list, find another library on your computer or create a new library. Now at the moment, it doesn't know where it is, okay? So this is now pointing to the library that I've got currently, but what I need to now do is now select other library. So I'm gonna select other library right here, I'm now gonna go and navigate to my external hard drive and select that library right there and say open. So what that is now doing is it's now configuring the actual settings on my computer for that Photos app to now point to the new Photos library on my USB external hard drive. And there it is, it's done, uh, it's now working. Now you're probably gonna have a lot more photos than me, you've probably got albums and events and things like that all configured, but you can actually check that this has worked by going in the same area that we looked at, Photos Preferences, and you'll see that now within here, it actually shows me that that is my EA's 32 gig external hard drive and there is my photos library. So now what you can actually do is you can actually now go into the finder and go to the original location where you had your pictures under here and this is the original photos library and now you can actually delete it. You can actually move it to the trash and click on this or I can do a command delete and now it's in the trash and I can now go and empty my trash and it's now gone, okay? What this has done is it's actually sort of created like a reference file. Um, it's don't worry about that. Um, it still needs to have something in there to sort of reference where the new location is. But now you should have freed up a whole bunch of space on your hard drive. We can now close out of our photos. And then the next time we open it up, it'll remember and it should open up the photos library that is already within your hard drive um, that you've copied over. So hopefully you found this helpful. Now, if you are interested, um, you've got a Mac. Uh, I love the Mac, hopefully you love the Mac as well. I do have some training courses available that may help you out a little bit on the Mac as well. Down in my description, I've got two training courses that you could definitely find helpful. Uh, they're very, very cheap, but there are hours and hours worth of um, content there that will uh, help you to become a better Mac user. I'm a bit more of a professional Mac user as well. Um, the first one is all around how to speed up your Mac, and the second one is about elementary stuff around how to use the Mac and perhaps switching from Windows to the Mac and some of the tips and tricks around there. So do check those out. But other than that, thank you so much for spending the time checking out this video, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you thought, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as well so that you don't miss out on anything. Clicking on some of those videos as well so that you can see essentially what is happening in the world of tech. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.